Hey y'all, so I'm back again with another video and I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this look inside of this video. Um, It's literally, I think it's like eight something. So that's why I got on clothes because you know, I usually have on a t-shirt, but um, I'm going to be going out with some of my friends. So I wanted something quick to do to my hair that would not take forever to dry. So this morning I got up and I put some plaits all over my head, the big plaits, and I took it loose. So let me start rambling. If you stay tuned, um, you'll see how I achieve this look. And if it works for you, then I hope you try it out and enjoy it. So stay tuned and keep watching. Bye, y'all. Okay, so like normal, I'm going to be starting out with freshly washed hair, y'all. And what I'm going to be doing is separating it into four parts. I don't know why I always use this comb to start out in the front because I'm going to end up using my fingers to part my hair anyway. But yeah, so I'm going to be putting my hair into four parts. So the next thing that I'm going to do is start with one section. On that section, I'm going to divide it into two sections, okay? And with that bottom section, I'm just going to spray it with water because my hair will drink some water, y'all. So I have to put a little water on it just to get it back down. I'm going to go in with my leave-in conditioner, um, and I'm going to apply it all through my hair. Once I put that on my hair, I like to go ahead and comb it out just to make sure that every piece has some of the conditioner on it and it won't be dry. After applying my leave-in conditioner, I then take that bottom section and I divide it again into another section. After separating those two pieces, I'm going to apply my lighter body that I love so much. On my hair, I'm going to brush it out with my denim brush and then I'm going to plait it. That means I'm going to separate it into three small pieces and just place them one over the other. So as I get closer to the bottom um, of plaiting my hair, you'll notice I am not going to go all the way down to the bottom because, like I said, this is something quick that I want to do to my hair. Um, but I am going to twirl it on my finger, if you'll notice. And then I'm just going to move on to the next section. Now, I'm going to speed the video up just so that you can see me plaiting all of my hair. But once we get back to the front of my head, I'm going to slow it down again just so you can see the steps that I take to put my plait in.
Okay, so we've made it to the front of my head. I just kind of want to stop at one point just to show you. So I'm separating that hair, just getting it out of the way. And then I'm gonna go in with that lighter body and go with my denim brush just to make sure every piece has some on it. And then I'm taking those three sections. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start placing them over each other, creating a plait or a braid as some people like to say. And I'm gonna do that all the way down to the end of my hair and I'm gonna twirl it. Okay, y'all, the last one. As you can see, my arms are probably hurting at this moment. So I have to scratch them out a little bit. But the last braid or plait. Okay, so like I said before, I'm going to spray it with some water. Because I want it to be a little damp. I don't want it to be too dry. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to put some of my lighter body on my hand. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put it all over that specific piece of hair. Like so. Once I apply that lighter body, I'm going to take my denim brush and I'm just going to brush thoroughly through my hair. Like I want to make sure at least every strand of hair has some type of moisture on it. And I'm also going to brush it from my root all the way down to my end just to make sure it's not tangled. So when I start plaiting, I won't have those issues of trying to get my finger through. Okay, so once I um, go in with the denim brush about 60 million times, what am I doing? Okay, okay, Paradise, come on, girl. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to separate my hair into three different pieces, okay? So once I separate them into those three pieces, I'm just going to plait all the way down towards the end. And then once I get, get closer to the end, I'm just going to twirl it on my finger because like I said, I don't want to go all the way to the end of my hair. So once I installed that last braid slash plait, um, I did go sit on the dryer for like an hour and 15 minutes. And then after that, just to kind of get my head about 80% dry. Other than that, I walked around the house like with my hair plaited just to kind of give it that time to dry. And then I'll show you in the next clip how I took it down. Take down time. 
So I'm gonna go in with my coconut oil, like I always do, and rub it all over my hands, just to put it all over my hair, on the ends, everywhere. And then I'm gonna make sure I have some on my fingertips, because that's pretty much the part that I'll be using to take down my hair. And right now, this clip is kind of quick, um, because it's towards the back, and you really can't see it, but just be gentle with your hair when you're taking it down, because you don't want it to be so frizzy that you can't really tell the details of your hair. But once I get towards the front, I'll kind of slow it down a little bit just so you can see how I take mine apart. Okay, so the final flat, and as you can see, I'm just finding those three separate sections at the end so I won't tangle anything up. And then I'm just gonna literally take it down like separated piece by piece, unfolding them over. And once I get to my roots, we will be finished. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my little handy dandy pick. And I'm just gonna pick my hair just for volume. Like I want it to be big, but I know the longer I wear it, the bigger it'll be. But the pick serves for the purpose. I don't want anyone to see where my parts were or anything like that. So I'm just gonna pick my entire head until I'm satisfied with how I feel like it should look. And I'm sure I'm gonna go back in regardless of the video. And simply just pick it until you like it. Then finally, what I'm gonna do is go in with my Eco Styler Gel, my favorite one, the olive oil. And I'm just gonna place some of that um, around my edges and on the top of my ends of my hair, if that makes sense. And then um, just to make sure that my edges are laying down, it kind of looks smooth and not so regular as they did before. And I'm gonna take my favorite toothbrush and I'm just gonna smooth them down with the toothbrush, pushing it back into my hair so that it kind of look like it blend a little bit. So I thought that I was gonna wear these hat clips that I found from Old Navy, um, but then I actually ended up, I'm not even gonna wear them, but they were a cute thought. Um, so yeah, like I say, I'm going back in with my pick and I'm just gonna pick it to my liking. And that's pretty much it, you all. So I hope you enjoyed this video.